Earlier in this series, I commented that changing a planet's mass won't change its orbital pattern. This is because if you set the gravitational force between the planet and the star equal to the centripetal force required to keep the planet in orbit, the mass of the planet cancels. You can then rearrange this equation to calculate the velocity that the planet needs in order to make a nice circular orbit. All you need to know is the mass of the star and the distance where you want to place the orbiting object. We can use this in our code to generate many orbiting bodies, like in an asteroid belt. In this code, which is available at a link in the description below, we're setting up a belt of randomly generated asteroids beyond our planet's orbits. Here, we select a random distance from the star where we'll place the asteroid. Then we select a random angle around the star where the asteroid will start. Finally, we select a random mass for the asteroid. We use this information to calculate the momentum required of this asteroid's orbit. With all this information, we create our asteroid. Notice that the momentum vector is designed to point perpendicular to the position vector, giving us a circular orbit. We repeat this process for every asteroid we want to create, and the result is a nicely choreographed set of orbits in the asteroid belt. We can also introduce a little more variety to our asteroid belt by slightly adjusting the momentum, giving our asteroids a more elliptical orbit. Without too much adjustment, the orbits should still be fairly stable around the star. And if you're lucky, when you run this code, one of your planets just might catch one of these asteroids like a moon.